All right, I have another short uh, video for you. And uh, I have, let's see, you know, you, everybody's going to need to be able to create these and open these. And the first one, opening them, let's see, uh, open them, it's really easy. You can use these. I've also been told that the, uh, that the, uh, Photoshop, the plugin, will work just as well. So I don't have Photoshop, so we're using the standalone NVIDIA Texture Tool. You just drop your file in there, and that's it. And uh, this is a 4, 4K file, so we will export. Uh, I like PNG. Uh, I guess uh, JPG would be okay, but I like PNG or TIF or decals. And then uh, this is just the uh, what? What did I open? Mm, yeah, this one. He's lost. Did I not get it? Where did I save it to? There it is. Okay. And uh, same with the uh, wings. Let me just drop them on there. And there you go. Save as. Closed it out too soon. Try again. throws them everywhere. Alright, that's all great and dandy, but how do you get them back to, uh, uh, to PNG? Well, or to KTX. Well, here's one. All these links for everything will be in the description. Here's one, and, and it'll give you uh, this uh, script. Okay, put the script in its own folder and run it, and it'll give you the folders. Alright, so just put them stay right here. I had, that's just what I tested. I'll leave all that. Yeah. Just doing some testing and playing with it. Oh, these are actually just random textures. Alright, so the way you'd use this is these are both albedos. So we'll throw them in here. And, uh, and you'll notice, uh, what, obviously, this is correct for me. You'll have to fill it in. Then here it'll say 202. That means it doesn't have any. So I know I need number 2. And now it says 002. Okay, well, we don't need to regenerate them. We already have them. We just get, did that. So 4. And it'll run the game. And that's what it's actually doing here. Is it, if you notice, packet, this is actually an SDK package it's creating. I'm using the SDK to uh, convert the files. Uh, 
then I'll get you to here. Alright, it says clean up. You have to be. And then it'll open the exported output file. And there you go. There's your game ready files there. Now I made this, and again, this is the one I like. But, and the reason, I mean, they both have their uh, their advantages. So the reason I like this one, uh, where I moved my images instead of carbon. Yeah. The reason I like this one is you don't have to separate all your files. Now, it looks complicated, but here's where the files go in sources. I, I should say this is really for uh, developers. And it comes with this as an example just to tell you you're there. And we'll put the textures here. Now, if you look in the root here, you'll notice that this. And you can read uh, read it. This is a, a file that Jonks have uh, got friends shared with everybody. And it's a great little script. I'm going to copy it right in here next to my uh, PNGs. Run it. Oh, I, I don't have a... They have to be named specifically as dash ALDD for this one. And the same with this one. Or underscore, I'm sorry. And then run it. And that'll give you your two uh, deals. But now you got to get rid of it. And then you go back up here to the root. And just double click the build. Um, does the same thing. As you can see, this is familiar. I'm using the SDK to actually do the conversion. Takes just a second. And there you go. When it gives you finish, just click out of that. And uh, it's in packages. All the way in the only folder. And there's your game ready uh, images. Now if I had, had actually uh, edited those two textures, I'd have uh, livery files. Now these, this package won't do you any good as far as building a, uh, a livery add-on you have to, you're gonna have to but we're gonna have to go through that another another video but there's two different ways to go from png and then back again so hope that helps uh, y'all have a good day